Okay. Oh, hang on one second. Okay, now we're rolling. All right. Taking off. Going into slow forward flight. He's climbing for safety here. And I believe the motors are running at different speeds. Uh, wouldn't surprise me. The back motor should be running a little faster right now. Okay. First transition now. And as usual, uneventful and normal. So I'll just use that to gain a little altitude for safety here. Usually it's on the second transition, sometimes on the third where it goes crazy. Okay, coming out into slow forward flight. I'll just do a quick 360 and then we'll be ready to uh, do our test. All right, ready for testing. Diving into the transition. It's flipping now. Oh, this is it. If I let it go. Oh, well, it caught itself. Yeah, it started to go. I fought it a little. I probably shouldn't have. That would have been a better example if I had let it do it. All right, flipping back into slow forward flight. I think I'll try to consciously not fight it off. Okay, here we go. Diving into the transition, flipping the switch, not fighting it. Okay. Okay, I've become a glider in order to uh, kind of reset the situation. And that was a good take. That was your best one so far. Okay. I think I have enough battery to do that one more time. Going into slow forward flight. Climbing out for safety. It's actually still a little wonky, I think. That's a technical term. Okay, let me turn it around and then I'll do it again. Okay, diving into the transition. Flipping into forward flight. Not fighting it off, just letting it do what it does. Okay, back into hover mode and glider now. I'm going to put it down and I probably don't have a lot of battery left right now. Now, it's interesting because it appears that that time as a glider with the throttle off is important somehow. It somehow allows everything to get reset and back to normal. 